from WFSB, Connecticut's number one local news. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News this morning. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, November 18th. Happy Friday. I'm Nicole Nalepa, and here are your top stories today. Connecticut energy companies, Eversource and United Illuminating, are raising rates this holiday season. Both companies are claiming that the war in Ukraine is driving up how much they pay for energy, and now they're passing that extra cost onto their customers. So you could soon expect to pay upwards of 25 cents more per kilowatt per hour. Residents struggling to keep the lights on are encouraged to apply for Connecticut assistance programs or a winter protection plan through their supplier. Investigators in Naugatuck and Waterbury are searching for someone who shot at police officers. Now, police say someone opened fire on a team of undercover cops right near the Chase Parkway in Waterbury Wednesday night. One Naugatuck police officer ended up being grazed by one of the bullets in the shoulder, but is expected to be okay. Investigators say they believe they know who the shooter is, but they aren't releasing any more information on that suspect. And investigators are also trying to figure out what sparked a deadly fire in Moosup. You can see just how significant that fire was by the damage that was left behind. Look at that charred wall there. Firefighters extinguished the flames at the Moosup Garden Apartments early yesterday and then sadly found a person who did not make it out. And that victim has not been identified. The gas tax holiday in Connecticut could soon be extended. The tax, the tax cut was set to expire on December 1st, but now the program will likely continue with some revisions. Right now, lawmakers are working on a proposal that would bring the gas tax back in five cent increments every month through April. So legislators were holding meetings soon to work out the details. And now even with the gas tax holiday in effect through at least Thanksgiving, prices at the pump are still painfully high. According to AAA, the national average for a gallon of regular gas is about 370, which is 30 cents higher than November of last year. Connecticut's average is at 374 right now, which is nearly 18 cents more than the, what we paid this time last year. And three Connecticut schools will no longer be eligible for special funding due to their Native American derived mascots. Killingly was found to be in violation with state regulations. As a result, the grants provided by the Mashantucket Pequot and Mohegan Fund will not be awarded. Killingly was supposed to receive nearly $100,000. Canton and Windsor are also not eligible to receive that money, but they were not expecting it anyway. The Middletown chief of staff that was arrested for a suspected DUI will no longer continue in her role. Middletown's mayor made that announcement through a statement, writing in part, quote, Alice Diaz has left the mayor's office and is no longer serving as my chief of staff. Bobby Knoll Peterson will be stepping back into the role on a temporary basis while continuing her role in economic and community development until the possession is filled. There was no comment on whether or not Diaz's arrest directly led to her departure. And students at CCSU are protesting a documentary that was shown on campus, which they considered to be transphobic. A conservative student group showed the documentary, What is a Woman, last night. But some students say facts in the documentary are, quote, deliberately manipulated or made up. CCSU's president says she understands that some people may not agree with the film, but that they must respect the First Amendment of rights of all students. And happening today, state education leaders will be meeting in Groton to discuss the transition out of pandemic restrictions and the toll that they've taken on students' mental health. Student speakers will be talking about some of the hardships that they've faced over the last couple of school years. The goal is help better to inform teachers so they can help students to overcome these challenges. And in Farmington now, where the Board of Education is making some controversial changes to its school holiday calendar, they're opting to remove two Jewish holidays. Students will no longer be given days off for Yom Kippur and Rosh Hashanah. Now, earlier this year, district leaders also decided not to recognize Diwali, which is a South Asian holiday. The board says it will revisit discussions for the school schedule next year before approving the 2024 calendar. And as part of our Three Cares commitment to the community, we want to share this for you. This is another way that you can support Bristol after the deaths of two police officers. This Saturday, tomorrow, you can purchase Bristol Strong sweatshirts at the Bristol Farmer's Market between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. Scott Caney gave us a closer look at these sweatshirts, if you remember, yesterday. Now, the hoodies are $45 and the crew decks are $40, and all of the money will be benefiting the families of those fallen officers. It's Such nice a great cause, Scott. It's so nice and warm. I have it right here. It really is terrific, and it's uh, 
Bristol Strong on one side, and then it has, um, of course, the officer's badge numbers on the other side. Uh, but it's so it's a, such a great sweatshirt, and I think you really like it, so check it out. All right, shuffling off to Buffalo, might I ask that you rethink that, because they're getting some lake effect snows up there. I've got our early morning dew pull radar focused in on this part of New York State. If you have holiday travel plans in Erie, Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse, Utica, Kingston, they're getting whacked. Utica, not so much, but Buffalo, they're talking feet of snow, feet of snow. Not for us. Visibility at a perfect 10. We're rolling out the bus. Get on the bus. Don't be late for the bus. The kids are going to need the winter coat. Temperatures today will only climb into the low to mid 40s. Now, right now, it's a little chilly, a little bit below average, 32, typical overnight low. We've got that for you. And uh, Brainerd, one above it at Bradley, but you are below it in northwest and northeast Connecticut. Even Chester coming in at 30, that's pretty chilly. 28 in Kent feels like 18. Hartford, 30. 32 in West Haven feels like 29. So there's a little breeze out there this morning, but that breeze will be picking up as we move through the day today. And we're down anywhere from 1 to 7 degrees cooler than 24 hours ago. The winds sustained out of the west anywhere from 9 to 10 miles an hour, and that's making the numbers feel even cooler like they're in the low to mid to upper 20s. So grab that winter coat. All right, here's early morning future cast. Tomorrow's weather today showing us an hour by hour depiction of not a lot going on. A little bit of an increase in cloud coverage this afternoon. So that's why we're going mostly sunny to partly cloudy. And then tonight between 8 and 11, you're going to notice this little blob of blue passing through. And that means some snow showers will be in the state from about 8 through about 11 o'clock tonight. And then that all scoots out and the weekend looks good. All right, so here's our satellite and radar. Let me widen out the shot. You can see that lake effect snow coming in off of Erie and Ontario. That is a wild ride there, folks. So plan accordingly if you have travel interests in that part of New York State. All right, uh, wind chill forecast. It's going to get a little tough around here this weekend. This is tomorrow morning. The winds will make it feel like it's in the upper 20s, low 30s. And 3 p.m., upper 20s, low to mid 30s. And then Saturday night, the numbers start dropping back. It feels like it's in the teens Saturday night and Sunday morning. And Sunday during the day, it only feels like it's in the lower 20s. So bundle up Sunday. If you're going to be out putting up holiday decorations, ooh, you should have done it last weekend, Saturday, when it was 70 degrees, because this weekend is going to prove to be much colder. Hartford, good morning to you. Beautiful golden sunshine in Waterbury. Hello, New Haven, 37 degrees. And we're taking a look at your headlines. Clear and cold to start. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy today. And then a cold weekend ahead. The spread today is between 40 and 46 degrees under mostly sunny skies to start. Clouds later this afternoon. The sun was up at 644 in all of its glory. Sets at 427. Overnight lows tonight a little chillier than where they are this morning with some snow showers early and then partly cloudy skies prevail. And here comes your seven day forecast 41 38 on Sunday. Remember the normal high for this time of year is 50. That's average for this time of year. We don't see 50 until Wednesday. That's a good day to travel and uh, in terms of the weather and then Thursday Thanksgiving also looks good. All right, just about 708 and a half. Nicole, we'll send it back to you. All right, thanks, Scott, and thank you so much for tuning in to Eyewitness News. Remember, you can get news and weather updates anytime on the Channel 3 app. Have a great day, everyone, and a great weekend. Be healthy, stay positive. We'll see you Monday.